Hello, welcome back to the Postal Pleasures channel. Uh, we're going to take another um, pinch out of my one pound kilo wear lot of US stamps. Uh, can't wait to see what we find today. I'm um, doing another one so soon just because it's easy and fun. Um, and I really want to get uh, a lot of my US stamps sorted and figure out where my duplicates lie so I can start sending some to people. Uh, so let's uh, dig in and see what we have. Now, right off the bat, I love this uh, banking and commerce linear pair, which actually then make a complete image. Um, and it happens, happens to have a colored, like a reddish cancel, uh, which in my opinion makes it even more special. So I'll start that up here, and I think we're going to have quite a few blocks here. I actually um, found the blocks as I was pulling out the, the main pinch and uh, selected some more of those out so we could go through them. So we have a two-thirds of a group of cacti uh, from um, oh, late 70s, early 80s. I can't remember exactly the exact date of this one. Um, I'm not sure if I see a date in there or not. No, that looks like a zip code, not a date. So, in any case, um, nice uh, partial block of four. Uh, and then we have a linear strip here of uh, Fort Sumter. That's nice. Some of these big ones I'll get out of the way first and then maybe put out of the way so we can keep going with the video. And uh, here we have a block of four, uh, Captain James Cook. Very nice. In Hawaii, 1778. Let's see here. Maybe I'm not as straight as I could be. I was messing with my cameras today, trying to get some other stuff set up and uh, possibly bumped the tripod so it's no longer aligned with my tabletop. Here we have Frederick Remington. I think we've seen a block of this. We've probably seen uh, both of these blocks in previous issue uh, episodes. I think this is episode six now. The last one was five, of course. Um, just put these smaller ones out of the way. And here we have a big block of architecture. That's nice with all four separate designs. Oh, and it's a plate block. Look at that. So if you're not familiar with a plate number, um, this number down here in the selvage is uh, a plate uh, registration number. And uh, it comes in and out of fashion uh, collecting of plate blocks, but it was very fashionable for a while to collect blocks of four or even different sizes, uh, eight uh, sometimes, six sometimes, um, with the plate number attached. Typically, uh, you want the corner, um, and maybe this is a corner, but missing the selvage. Um, but they can be collected in any form. Some people are more strict than others. And there's usually only so many plate numbers on a sheet, so uh, you don't get, uh, you don't get every, you can't put every stamp in a plate block. So here we have, uh, it's a little wrinkled, but I think that'll iron out a little bit, although we're missing the corner there. Yeah, unfortunately we're missing the corner perforation on that uh, saguaro cactus. I'll put this up here to go with those. These two. I'm going to see how stuck they are. Being used, I can certainly re-soak them, and I think that's the best choice here. So I'll set these aside for re-soaking. Here we have uh, Season's Greetings, and this is one of the, um, not the earliest, but one of the earliest stamps uh, to not have a denomination on it. In the U.S. at least. And here we have, and I don't know that I've ever had this as a block like this, Captain James Cook, because here we have a vertical above a horizontal. Um, whereas, you know, we see there it was just the uh, horizontals. So that's really neat having it in this format. I'll leave it there. Okay, I'll probably pick these up before we dig deeper into the individual stamps. I'm just uh, peeking to see if there's any more sheets here. No, it doesn't appear to be any more sheets, so maybe it is time to pick those up. Okay, we're back. I've moved these to the bottom corner with less light. In case we do find something else, we can add it there. Um, but let's dig in here and see what we find. So I'll start with some of these modern ones. Now this is pretty neat. It is, well, what is it? It is 37 cent USA film editing. Film editing, interesting. I haven't seen that one. Um, again, I stopped my Boyhead collection in the 80s and have only sparsely accumulated since then. 
um, and I've, I've picked it up and added a lot to it, but I'm missing most of the uh, 90s, 2000s, uh, through, well, the 90s through now, most of that. Probably more in the 90s I have. It's the, it's the 2000s through 2021 that uh, elude me. A Patsy Klein. I'm going to put this here because we usually have a lot of the uh, musician stamps. Uh, at least in this bag, I should say, in this uh, envelope that I've received. So Hank Williams, another Hank Williams, and yet another Hank Williams. These musician stamps can be a little more tricky than uh, you'd think to collect because there are different um, perforation options on many of them. Here we have, uh, it looks like a discus thrower, Olympic discus. And I've always liked these square flower series from the, I want to say this is the 70s as well. There's a 29 cent Huckleberry Finn. It's the same physical width, so I'm going to put it in the column with the rows. And I bet this is from the same series, so Little House on the Prairie. When I say same series, I mean the same as the Huck Finn one. Let's see, we'll start with an Abbott and Costello up top. And then I think these are all going to be the same uh, Christmas stamp, 13 cent Christmas stamp. I will put that there. I'm not going to bother to unstack them. If I'm wrong, I will catch that when I put them away. There's a 5 cent United States savings bond. Pretty nice. And uh, I like the series as well. So here we have a pine cone on a pine branch, if you will. And an Alabama state. Um, looks like uh, 150 years. So it's, um, I'm not sure what the term for that is. Not centennial, not... Uh, I'm not sure what the 150 would be called. Here we have a Salvation Army, 1965, and a 15-cent flag stamp. You make a column for the smaller type ones there. Here we have a 5-cent John Muir, Conservationist, and a 6-cent Grandma Moses. 22-cent flag coil stamp. And here we have um, is this the Jefferson Memorial, I think? I think so. And those are both coils. suspect that exists as a traditional fully perforated stamp as well. Here we have a Ben Franklin one cent green. And we have a Harding two cent, another Harding two cent, Frank Lloyd Wright two cent, and I'm going to start another column just so I don't crowd the bottom. Uh, Abraham Lincoln four cent, that's a coil as well. Here's one of the Americana series, a two cent podium. Five cent George Washington. Uh, we have a three cent um, Gold Star Mothers, uh, but it has cello tape on the back, uh, which ruins a stamp. It's just even if the cello tape eventually falls off because the gum dries out, it's going to leave that stain. I'm going to set this aside. Uh, this is a, a junk box stamp. Um, I'm not even sure I'd give that placeholder positioning. Uh, water conservation. I mean, fortunately, it's a very common stamp, so no great loss. And here's a real good example of, um, see the same stamp up here, but, uh, and this really is common with Christmas stamps, they often go in very colorful envelopes, so this was likely on a green envelope, and uh, has now, uh, when it was soaked, um, 
it was maybe left in too long, or maybe, sometimes there's nothing you can do about it. The dye bleeds out of the envelope. Um, so when you are working with colored um, paper when you're soaking stamps, it's best to do it separately, quickly, and to trim very closely at a time uh, to give yourself the best chance. But sometimes, sometimes there's nothing you can do um, because this is so green as well. I'm going to set it aside. And here's another one. I see this is a little bit wider, even though it has some yellow dinginess around the edges. Um, this is uh, kiloware, right? So it's a big, cheap lot. Um, I don't expect all the stamps to be perfect, right? I'm hoping to find enough decent stamps uh, that I'm happy, and uh, and I, I certainly am. I, I have no complaints with this lot. Uh, so if I find some garbage stamps, that's fine. I have bought kiloware before, where it is stinky, moldy, bent, torn, and get very few stamps out of it. Um, and that's unfortunate, right? Uh, that doesn't happen to me often, and usually I just I, I move on and uh, find a different seller in the future. Uh, so the difference here is one's perforated all the way around, the top one, and then we have a coil behind that. I'm going to stack them just for space. Here is a greetings, a Christmas greetings stamp. I'm going to slide it in there because we are running low on space. Here's 29 cent tulips. I typically get a lot of those. In this lot I've seen a lot of 29 cent stamps. So uh, a nice giraffe. Abbott and Costello, Joe Lewis, looks like a couple of Norman Rockwells, oh, let's see, an Eisenhower coil, uh, poorly vertically centered and actually looks like cut perforations with scissors. So, um, and that, that's me being nitpicky, I mean, I, I normally would have been fine with that growing up, but as I get older I get more uh, discerning, because I want if I'm adding it to my collection, this one's been cut as well. Um, and so I should be, uh, while I like to stay positive on my channel, I should try to be clear that that's not desirable. Uh, so if you are adding to your collection, and maybe you're not an expert already, uh, you gain a little knowledge. Earl Warren, I don't know that I've seen this stamp. Again, from a period where I wasn't actively collecting. Um, at least not stamps at that point. I've kind of bounced back and forth between stamps and coins. Uh, let's see. Navajo art. Uh, a little missing a corner on this one, but overall not horrible. And here we are. Now this matches the same series as that up there. But I'll put it down here for ease. National Grange, five cent. Uh, here we have a nice uh, pre-cancel Chicago, Illinois. And look at this, first man on the moon. I'll put this top corner here. I love that one. Now it looks like I do have another block of four here. Let's turn this over. Oh, look at that. That makes me happy. Um, that might be my favorite from this lot. Um, 200 years of postal service with a beautifully centered bright red uh, looks like Lewistown, Montana if I had to guess wonderful I will put this in the stack low and let's see Merry Christmas there's no way we're getting through all these a 13 cent eagle um, a very light color. This is a modern one. This is a 2016 Forever Pets. It's a, it's a mouse. Okay, a presidential series, three cent Thomas Jefferson, two of those. Over here, another Hank Williams. I think we're going to have a few musical ones down here, so let me pull them out while my tongs are headed that direction. Hank... Hank. Hank with an interesting slogan cancel. A National Children's Dental Health Week. And a final Hank. Well, maybe not final because I'll watch this be another one. Yep, another one. 
often in bundle wear things you get um, envelopes that you find stamps that maybe came out of envelopes or collections otherwise stacked like that because uh, that's how they were organized I'm going to start putting some over here uh, let's see I have baseball, Olympic baseball and this looks um, like a Chinese uh, Lunar New Year, year of the I can't, I doesn't say what it is. I see flowers, but I can't see what the little animal in the corner is. Hard to identify. Here we have one missing corner. Project Mercury, I've always enjoyed this stamp. Here we have another one of this Credo. There's actually somewhere between four and six of those, I think. Here's another Americana series. I'll put it here. Printing press, 11 cents. And another Americana series. So there's the 2 cent. We have the 3 cent in the tongs here. We have 11 cent just above. And another Abe Lincoln. This one looks modern and, and looks a little funny, like the bleeding. So um, maybe not a great example either. Here we have uh, George Washington. Two cent. That's a pretty clean stamp. In fact, it's got perfect looking gum on the back. I mean, there's some some uh, rust staining. It looks like along the perforations on one side, but um, doesn't look like it was soaked off the envelope, even though it's canceled, and doesn't look like it's seen a hinge or a tongue, I should say. Um, so nice. The back looks as nice as it does, considering its age. Now this one's been cut uh, quite small. Frank Lloyd Wright. That should go kind of in the junk pile as well, I believe. And a beautiful two cent Washington, 1932. This one looks foreign to me, it is. And it's stuck to another. I'm just gonna see how stuck. Mm, it's stuck enough, I wanna soak them. Uh, and it's on uh, a flag stamp that uh, doesn't clearly have a cancel, but doesn't have gum either. We'll see. Those could be an unused block that's just been soaked out of a pile. Um, but yeah, some Korean stamps. I'll set it aside. And let's see. Little Women. Did we have that one yet? No, but it does go with those other two. Here is an eagle. We saw a few of those, three different uh, varieties of those in the last video. Christmas... America's Libraries. Here's uh, one of the futuristic space scenes. Here's another Christmas stamp matching that series. I'll actually just put it right up there. And in the last video, we found that in two different colors because it's two different printing press processes, I should say. Okay, here we have, and I'm on screen barely. I'm sorry if I'm working a little low. Um, let's see. I've always enjoyed this series of stamps. So this is an Edgar Allan Poe three cent, uh, Samuel Gompers three cent. Let's see. I'll just put a column here. And we have a uh, three cent William Allen White. That's on paper. I'm actually gonna. I'll show it to you, and then I'm gonna set it aside for my soaking pile. Another Samuel Gompers. That one's on paper. I'll set it aside. Another on paper Samuel Gompers. There's a nice green one cent Washington coil. Don't think we have this one yet. I'll slide it in there. It's like a couple of airmails. I always enjoy airmails or other back of book stamps. Here is a. A 15 cent Texas Windmill 1890. This series of stamps has a windmill uh, that's actually still existing in my neighboring town. I've done a short video on that before if you've had a chance to see it. Let's see, District of Columbia. We had one of these in the last video. Looks like we have two of them here. Another Jefferson Memorial. Let's see. Eisenhower, but you'll notice even though it's the same picture, I should say, we have two different denominations, a six and an eight, and they're different colors. 
uh, blue and black, and then the black one has a red USA compared to the blue USA. Oh, let's see, we have George Washington, three cent. And here we have a bulk rate, pre-canceled bulk rate oil wagon. I always enjoyed the transportation series as well. Have another airmail, though. Here's a really good example. This airmail is on, I believe, somewhat of a pink-tinged paper, but uh, this is just horribly toned, uh, been exposed most likely to um, acid uh, in storage. Oh, a flag. I don't think we have this flag yet. I have room, barely have room there. I'll scroll out a little, which means I'm off the page with these. I apologize. And a season's greetings. Really crowding it now. A New Hampshire. Man on the Mountain. Man on the Mountain. I think I'm off the page with that one. Man on the Mountain. The face actually fell off, I want to guess, 10, 15 years ago now. Uh, maybe even a little longer. Uh, but uh, unfortunate. Here we have uh, what looks like a locomobile, 1928. Uh, this stamp's pretty well damaged as well. We can see that it's very torn up. I'm going to set that aside. Here we have a kind of what I call the ornate Ben Franklin. Here we have a Walt Disney, six cent. And I don't get many of these. I like this stamp. Uh, six cent uh, within stars. And there's two here. They're both very nice looking. Here's another one of the windmill series. This one in Virginia. Uh, here we have a 12 cent Cleveland. I think I can squeeze that one there. And it looks like I've come up on another pre-cancel. Let's see here. Turn that around. I'll put the pre-cancel over here. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Here's a 29 cent flag with a torn corner. Uh, have we seen this Washington yet? I don't know that we have. Although it's a common one, so I see it often. I don't think we've seen it today. And another baseball from the Olympics. A Theodore von Karman, uh, aerospace scientist. Uh, it looks like a pretty neat cancel there, but I'm not sure what it is. And here we have uh, Rebecca Everingham. Uh, I have no idea. It looks like a riverboat. Or maybe that's the name of that particular riverboat. I'm not sure. Here we have a pretty nice uh, Washington. I'll put this one here. We're really low on space at this point. And we have a white Bengal tiger. Uh, I have a similar stamp to this somewhere. A giraffe die. Yes, same series giraffe. Here I'll move. I'll move this over here. I'll move this to match it since it's a mate. I'll put the Bengal tiger there. Another tiger. Another baseball. Let's see here. Another baseball. And a really nice Puerto Rico. That's great. Let's see. We have a couple Laurel and Hardy's to go with our Abbots and Costellos. Another Lincoln, I don't think we've seen that one yet. And I have a pile of these Monroes. It's Monroe, right? Yeah, Monroe. I had to check my check my memory there. Another Jefferson Memorial. Another airmail. That's a nice bright one. A Bing Cosby to match those. I think we have room there. Yeah, plenty of room there. Uh, this is the nice one that we featured in the last video, World Columbian Expo. I will uh, just tip it sideways there. And, oh, I really like this one from the last one as well. Again, I'll tip it sideways because we've seen it recently. Numismatics makes for a, a great crossover stamp. And this Francis Parkman, American Historian. Can I get it there? We're in. And... Let's see, it is back to school time, so 
Maybe some of the students will study chemistry. I think I can get one more in there, and I have another one I'm going to double up. So we have a naval aviation right there. And last but not least, we found another one of the Credo stamps. I will set it side by side just so you can see the difference. They're different colors. Uh, and that's that. Do I just see another duplicate? I think I do. Another Earl Warren, so I'll get it out there while I can. Okay, time to stop. Out of space. Uh, thanks for watching this episode uh, 6, I believe, of U.S. Stamps. Again, I'll, uh, I'll do another one soon because these really are quick and easy to do, and I enjoy doing them. So uh, I hope you, uh, hope you don't mind me indulging myself. Thanks again. Thank you.